What's up guys, Jake here again, and thank you for coming back to the channel. On today's episode, we're gonna do a full walk around on the Wander Taco, which is a 2008 Toyota Tacoma. Stay tuned. The Wander Taco sits on a six inch rough country lift with SPC upper control arms, which are fully adjustable for your caster. And it just got some new lower control arms. So the whole front end is sitting pretty nice right now. We just got some new tires for the truck. They are 35 by 12.5 R17 inch Neato trail grapplers. They're our first mud terrains, so we're still getting used to them. We've run some all terrains in the past, but so far very happy with them. And the wheels that are wrapped in these 35 inch tires are some 17 by nine VTX Rogue wheels with negative 10 millimeter offset. So front end sit pretty well. On the front end of this truck, we threw a DVA off-road high clearance front bumper and we also equipped it with a Smittybilt 9,500 pound winch. We also threw on a TRD Pro style grill with the Raptor lights. For the lights on this truck, we threw on some four inch LED amber fog lights for the front bumper. We also threw on some H1 LED projector headlights that obviously have some condensation, so we gotta work on that next. For the ditch lights on the truck, we threw on some four inch rigid industry pods. And then for the Prenzy rack up top, which we'll get to in a minute, we threw on a 41 inch slimline front LED light. For the top half of this truck, we threw on a Prenzu roof rack, which on these access cabs, you actually have to drill through the top of your roof. Uh, to put those in so if you're an access access cab friend like me just make sure you measure and measure again we also threw on some plano 36 inch cases that holds all of our off-road gear and recovery gear in the back half of this truck we have an are camper shell that uh, we went this route just because we have a lab that likes to go on trips with us and we thought it would be safer for her to just have all the room in the back as well as when we're camping we really like to keep everything away from all the dust and the mud so it keeps everything clean back there up top on top of the ARE camper shell we have another Prinzu cab rack that holds our Tapui Kuknom 3 that we absolutely love as well as a Rome Adventure Co. awning that we use in the summer a lot. For side steps on this truck, we threw on some Tiger Auto sliders that are used as steps as well as sliders, as you can see from the side right there. And uh, for fender flares, I threw on some Bushwhacker style fender flares just because I liked the black accents on the truck and the original OEM ones were starting to fade. So it was just a cheap alternative to, uh, to fix those as well as give it a more aggressive uh, side stance for sure. On the rear end of this truck, we threw on some Tacoma Beast taillights that I really like. They are LED. As, as far as the top of the truck, we have some Baja Design S1s that I can use as tailgater lights or for camping when we wanna see out the back. Uh, it's just a nice alternative and gives a good ray of light uh, for cooking food or for backing up when you can't see out of the back. For the back of this truck, we have a mountain hatch tailgate insert. So it's all flat, so you can do all of your cooking. And uh, this material is actually the same as a cutting board. So we use it to uh, cook all of our food on and cut up our vegetables or fruits, whatever we're making, which is uh, pretty, pretty nifty in my opinion. And then the only other thing we have back here is a water port. It's a 3.8 gallon with a pressurized hose. Um, 
my favorite mods for the camper shell is uh, one of my sponsors. Actually, this product is called Remora Off-Road and it's an alternative for camper shells to mount rotopacks, Mack tracks, traction boards on the side of their truck. Um, ultimately anything that you would want on the side of uh, your camper shell because there's not many options out there for camper shells to mount stuff to the sides. On the rear suspension of this truck, we threw on some Firestone Ride Right airbags as well as some Daystar cradles to allow for that full flex to still happen in the rear. The reason behind the airbags in the rear is we've got a lot of weight on the back of this truck and we also haul a lot with it. So having the adjustability of the airbags to run whatever PSI you want and to raise or lower the rear of this truck has been really nice and has helped the overall ride stability in the back of this truck. Everything underneath the truck is pretty much stock other than my AFE cold air intake. And we do have a OBD2 performance tune on it as well as a Dynomax muffler for the rear. So it sounds pretty good in my opinion. I'll give you guys a little sound test. For the interior of this truck, we kept it pretty simple. We have a Pioneer Apple CarPlay deck, which is a, a must, in my opinion, to upgrade to. It's fully touchscreen, which is awesome. And then below that, we have a tech deck with the RAM mount that I absolutely love. Keeps your phone in place when you're off-roading or on any sort of trail. And then we go down below and I have a ham radio mounted to the side of my center console for easy access, which is great as well. As we move on to the back of the truck, you can see we have a Tacoma Twins modular Molly pack set up here. It did have the option for the center win window to be blocked off as well, but we liked having that open for our dog and you can mount whatever you want to it. I decided to mount a lot of my recovery gear, um, an ax, first aid kit, uh, flashlight, our air down tools, and much more. Of course, you can't forget about all of those overland patches. We try to collect a patch everywhere that we go. So we're almost filled up to the back. Just a little more to go. Well, there you have it. There is the full walk around of our 2008 Toyota Tacoma Overland Ready Camp Rig. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like always, like and subscribe. Leave us a comment, let us know what you guys think, what you guys want to see next, uh, if you have any questions for the truck. And until next time, we'll be wandering.